What's up, people? In this video, we're going to be going over all the weapons in Rogue Company Season 1 and ranking them from best to worst and giving a short explanation as to why I place weapons where I place them. Now, if you want to make sure to catch all my videos, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We are streaming or posting videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. And if you want to be in one of these YouTube videos, hop into the stream. You may end up there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this analysis. Now, let's start off with the S tier first, and we're going to go with the full body as our first weapon in s tier now the full body is phantom sniper this is the best weapon in the game because it has the potential to just completely wipe out a team like no other weapon even the tier right because even straight out of the box the full body starting out with four bullets meaning that if you are hitting all your shots you can take out a team with one clip there's no other gun in the game that can actually do this this effectively so if you can hit shots with the full body you're going to be dominating people the next weapon that i'm going to put on this list is going to be the new weapon the riptide now the riptide i would say is on par or maybe even slightly better than the ka-30 this is a shredder of an ar right now and i understand why so many people were just going nuts over this gun uh it's basically the ka-30 but with a slightly better accuracy the damage is there and it has even more of a, a higher fire rate than the ka-30 so all in all top tier weapon this is definitely something that we're going to be seeing a lot of now, the next weapon that I'm going to put here is going to be the actual KA-30. I put this right underneath the Riptide, and you all know the KA-30. It's one of the more consistent ARs in the game, right? This gun right here deals good body damage, good headshot damage. The fire rate sitting at around an 8, which is nice. This gun can shred you down before you even realize you're getting shot. The KA-30, definitely in that top three best guns in the game. Next up here, we're going to go with the Mamba. The Mamba, a lot of people are still sleeping on it even after it's received several buffs, but the Mamba is a two burst headshot, assuming that you are within range and they increase the range on that a little bit. So now you can hit people for a two tap even further away. Now this is obviously used by Dima and Saint. Saint with the C4 and the two burst uh, Mamba is just a devastating rogue. So the Mamba definitely slept on, but it's a S tier weapon. Next up, we're going to put the SLC here. This is the SMG that Ronin has and also Scorch. They went ahead and they reduced the kick on this weapon. So now it doesn't pull to the uh, up as much as it used to. It used to have some crazy recoil and like a rubber band glitch. Now it is a smooth weapon for the most part. The fire rate on it is super fast. So if you are up close, the only gun that's probably going to out trade you is going to be the objection. Very good weapon, solid weapon. You pair that with overheat, you're burning down just about anybody, even total teams, if they're foolish enough to stand and try to shoot with you. Now, the next weapon that I'm going to put up here is going to be the Objection. Now, the Objection, as I said, can probably beat out the SLC at close range, but the reason that this one falls off a little bit is because once you get out of range, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. The Objection is still an S-tier weapon, though, because at close range, it is a complete shredder. It destroys people. And the accuracy, the recoil is almost none. Like, you are just a beam. So, Objection, definitely S-tier. This is going to be Dahlia's weapon right now, the only person with it. And the last weapon we're going to put here in the S-tier is going to be the Tier. Now, the tier, I debated putting this A tier or S tier, but I'm still going to go with the tier being a S tier weapon. Even though now you have to fully upgrade it to get that uh, range drop off to go away, at mid, mid to short range maps, this gun still pretty much dominates. The Fixer is still a top tier rogue that is going to ruin your day, uh, especially if, the fix, if he's hitting shots, just plain and simple. So the tier is definitely still a top tier weapon. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our A-tier weapons. These weapons are not as good as that S-tier, obviously, but they are still great weapons to use. You can see these in ranked. You can see these in the meta. They are strong weapons that just aren't on that verge of being broken. Now, let's go ahead and start out with the Deadeye. The Deadeye, I think people have been sleeping on for a while, and it just received a buff in Season 1. Now it hits for 58 to the head, which is a ridiculous amount of damage, right? So basically, this can two-shot you. Even at long range, it's still hitting hitting you for 50 to the head. So on somebody like Fixer, it's almost more viable to use his Deadeye on certain maps than his tier, especially if you can't actually snipe. And it does very well paired with Talon and his radar dart. All in all, the Deadeye is definitely a great weapon, A tier for sure. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the Nightshade. I'm very biased towards the Nightshade and I wanted to put this gun in S tier, but after speaking with people from the chat and hearing their opinions, I realized that just because the Nightshade pairs well with Vi and Phantom, right? Their kit helps makes the Nightshade like a top tier weapon, but the Nightshade itself probably isn't gonna be in S tier. 
uh, it's gonna lose out against the K30, the Riptide for sure, right? But it is a top tier weapon. The accuracy on it is great. The damage on it is great. It is a great weapon. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this one in A tier because it's just a solid choice. Next up here, we have the 24S, which is uh, Lancer's SMG. Now this SMG, I have nothing to say about it as far as like it being great or bad necessarily. It's just a solid weapon, right? It obviously falls off compared to like the SLC and the Objection because they both have a higher fire rate and do similar damage. But it's a great weapon when you're going up against the Lancer with the 24S, you know, you're, you're in trouble, especially if she gets the first shots off, you know? So great weapon, definitely what I see more people using than a shotgun, but we will talk about her shotgun soon. Next up, we have the LMP. The LMP is going to be used by Glitch and Talon. Great uh, SMG. A lot of people look down on this one. They they prefer uh, Chalk's weapon. They prefer Ronin's weapon. But the LMP is very good. And it's one of the few uh, SMGs in the game that actually performs well at mid to long range consistently, right? A lot of the SMGs in the game fall off once you get to longer range. This one doesn't. It stays consistent and you can shred people down even at range. So all in all, LMP, definitely A tier. Look out for this one. Next, we're going to take a look at the MXR. This used to be an S tier weapon for me, but it received a couple of nerfs over the last few patches. And now it just doesn't deal the damage that it used to. And the fire rate has been reduced a little bit. The damage has been reduced a little bit. So it's not the God tier that it was before, but it's still hitting you for 44 to the head. Big damage, three shots, and you're down. So even though the MXR is taking a couple of hits, it's still one of the best weapons in the game. And if you have aim, you can definitely shred people down really quick. Next up, we're gonna have the D40. Now, this is gonna be Chalk weapon and Segra's weapon. This right here is probably my favorite SMG in the game, even though I think the Objection and the SLC are objectively better. The D40 is just such a shredder. Like, the fire rate on it is great. And it's one of the SMGs, kind of like the LMP, that can also shred you at range. And it has such a good range that I think it surprises people because they think Chalk can only really deal damage to you up close since he has the SMG and the shotgun. The D40 is a sneaky weapon and it will shred you down if you're out in the open trying to uh, take Chalk lightly for sure. Next up, we have the Skull 6. This is the shotgun used by Glitch and Chalk. Now, the Skull 6 is one of my favorite shotguns because it can one-tap you. 132 to the head, 88 to the body at close range, and even at far range, it can still hit you for about 30, 35 damage, which is not bad for a shotgun. And if you're peeking corners, you can really chip away at some people, make them uh, reconsider pushing a Chalk with a shoddy. Now, the next weapon that I want to put on this list is going to be the Arbitrator. The Arbitrator is a very good shotgun, and I will admit that I slept on this one for a little bit. I'll put it just right under the Skull 6, though, because the Skull 6 actually can hold up to 8 bullets, which is ridiculous for a shotgun that can one-tap, while the Arbitrator can only hold 2. The thing about the Arbitrator, though, is that it's the only shotgun in the game that can one-shot body shot, meaning that if you get people up close, you can basically one-tap them regardless if you hit them in the head or in the body. Now, with Scorch, it has replenished attached to it so you can really start cleaning up with that but if you're using somebody like anvil you have to be a little more strategic and uh do a little more running and gunning sometimes so you don't get overwhelmed now the last gun that i'm going to put in here is going to be the mark four the Mark IV, for a long time, I put it in like B tier because it wasn't a bad weapon. Always had a great fire rate, always did great damage, but the scope really held it back. Now that they took that scope off, I definitely said that this weapon is a A tier weapon. Definitely top tier now. And this gives just Saint so much more versatility, right? When trying to get into those gunfights where now he doesn't have to kind of stand and try to outshoot you. He can use corners just like other people with the K30, the Mamba, uh, the Riptide, right? So it makes Saint so much more dangerous on the battlefield. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our B tier weapons. Now the B tier weapons are not terrible weapons, but they're not meta. They're not gonna be the most effective weapons in a gunfight. Let's start this off with the Striker 8x12, which is the shotgun that Lancer uses. Now the flaw in this shotgun is that the damage on it is just too low, right? Even if you get headshots, you're gonna need two shots to down somebody. And if you do miss one of those headshots, you need three body shots to kill somebody for sure. And that's assuming that you're in range. They just don't do enough damage, and if you're playing against experienced players, they're probably going to burn you down before you can get close enough to really be effective with the shotgun. Um, and that's the flaw with a lot of these auto shotties, or both of the auto shotties, I should say. The next weapon I'm going to put up here is the Knight. The Knight is a fine weapon. It's not bad, but it's going to lose to any other SMG in the game, pretty much, and definitely any shotgun for the most part. Uh, the Knight is, has just a slow fire rate. It deals good body damage, but realistically, if you start shooting at the same time with somebody else, 
almost every gun in the game can outgun you except for maybe um let's say the devotion maybe the s12 tactical you probably beat those but realistically you won't beat any other gun now the harem i put in b tier the harem isn't bad by any means it has a good fire rate it deals decent damage not a bad weapon but it loses out to every other ar right like looking at every other ar in the game the ka30 the uh riptide the nightshade any other ar the harem is definitely at the bottom of that list fair weapon when you pair it with a rogue like dallas it does big work right because dallas is such a good rogue, but the gun just isn't great on its own it's just very mediocre and then the last thing that we're going to put in this b tier list is going to be the maw now i know a lot of people swear by the maw but the maw is not necessarily a great weapon it's just can be very versatile right the fact that it has a 90 round clip can be very oppressive and if you have a team that is working well with you you can put down some very good covering fire and allow for some good flanks from your teammates but it's a definitely a spray and pray weapon like and i don't think anybody would deny that um, the maw isn't really a big skill based weapon you're going to lose out against the mamba you're going to use out against the k30 and definitely any uh, smg if you do get into a close quarter fight so the maw has its place but it's definitely not the best weapon in the game here now let's go ahead and take a look at our c tier weapons these are weapons that i think need a little bit of love or just a little bit of a tweak to bring them into the meta because they're just not used very often so first we have the s12 tactical and this one kind of falls into the same trap as the lancers uh eight times ten right now it can hit you for 93 to the head which is fine but you have to be right up on people to get that damage and usually you're hitting for maybe 60 so if you have somebody with headstrong that means that you're going to need definitely three shots to kill that person and by that time you get three shots off you're probably going to already be dead s12 isn't bad i've used it i've cleaned up with it a few times but is it the best gun in the game no you're going to do better with almost any other gun the last weapon that i can put in c tier is going to be the devotion now i don't want you to get this wrong i'm not saying that the devotion is just complete trash but the dead eye definitely is outclassing it right now and the mxr definitely outclasses it the mamba much better right now, what the Devotion does have going for it, though, is this big damage. 71 to the head is nothing to sleep on, and if you're even a little bit coordinated with your teammates, you can easily take out a person very quickly, right? Make it a quick 4v3. Now, the Devotion also has bullet penetration, which if you can catch people, like, running in a line back to back, uh, I guess you can, you know, do some big damage like that. But overall, it's just too easy to play around the Devotion, and in a 1v1 with a decent player, you're probably going to lose that fight. Let me know if there's any weapons on this tier list you would move up or down the list. And also, if you made it to the end, give me a peace piece down in the comment section, and let me know what your favorite gun is. This is Orsta Course. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, 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 peace.